Hey guys, Andy here. Um, some of you might be deciding, I've got the Nexus 6, is the 6P really worth the upgrade? So I'm making a few videos, this one being my regular head-to-head, -head, which will hopefully help you decide. On the left, the regular Nexus 6, um, Snapdragon 805 chipset, quad-core 2.7 gigahertz Crate 450 CPU, uh, Adreno 420 GPU and 3 gig of RAM. And on the right, the Nexus 6P, this year's flagship, with the Snapdragon 810 chipset, octa-core, so quad-core 1.55 A53 and a 2 gigahertz A57, and an Adreno 430 GPU in 3 gig of RAM. So, interesting matchup, uh, very different CPU-wise, not so different otherwise. Um, both are running the latest version of Marshmallow, both fully up to date. So we will kick things off with the Angry Birds opening test. And it looks like the 6P has the slight edge. So I use Angry Birds 2 now. I used to use Angry Birds 1, but actually that was quite a simple app to open and it took a few seconds. Angry Birds 2 seems to be a bit more uh, intensive on the uh, devices. So hopefully it gives us a, a better real world situation, uh, indication of which has uh, is faster basically and actually this nexus 6 looks like it's yep the nexus 6 snuck through and uh, got it open quicker than the 6p very interesting so the nexus 6 only having four cores but then we're in a higher clock speed than the uh, 6p's octa core so we'll go into the actual benchmarking test again you can see some of the specs there let's go ahead and run the test um, as usual, I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. We will fade through to the end. But it is interesting sometimes just to see how quick one runs through the test than the other. And we see that as we jump to the end, the 6P has run through the test quicker. Only just though. But actually that uh, multi-core score, m quite impressive compared to the old device. So possibly the octa-core showing its advantage there. Because um, that is a big increase. That's almost a 50% increase on, on last year's Nexus 6. Neither bad scores. Well, you know, I mean, the Nexus 6 is not a bad score, but the 6P really coming into its own. So now we head outside into the, I don't know, I'll call it rain. I'll call it drizzle, perhaps, to test the uh, GPS units. I've reset both of their GPS states, having had a lock. And then we see, well, very quickly, the Nexus 6P can see 24 satellites it's locked onto five of them and it's got a gps lock already very fast not massively accurate just yet but we should see that uh, 19 meters come down 17. meanwhile the nexus 6 struggling a little bit again i, I mean it's funny these uh, these gps tests some of them they seem to take a good minute or so to to lock but you must remember I have i have just reset the gps state so we're going from a cold start and I would say, as I almost always do, you know, I used the Nexus 6 for a year, and I never, ever was left not knowing where I was. Let's put it that way. If I opened up maps almost straight away, I could see where I was. If I had to navigate somewhere, and there we go. The Nexus 6 now has its lock. Um, so clearly the 6P was the winner, but I wouldn't worry if you're a Nexus 6 and I'm not sure it's a reason to uh, worry or to swap. We're coming back indoors, and we're going to test the speakers, which should be very interesting because actually... Uh, the Nexus 6 had amazing speakers, but the 6P possibly, possibly even better. But obviously that's what we're here to test for. We're going to start with some music. Tell me where to go, tell me what to do. I'll be right there for you. Tell me where to go, tell me what to do. I'll be right there for you. T tell me what to say, no matter if it's true. I'll say, tell me what to say, no matter if it's true. So to my ears, hearing these side by side, I mean, they both sound fantastic, really, but the 6P does have the edge um, in volume, really. And we're going to try the spoken voice. It essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. 
essentially gave organizations like GCHQ and the NSA a free reign to go do mass surveillance. It also uh, overturned a lot of the rules and laws, and now we're in the situation where surveillance. It also uh, overturned a lot of the rules and laws, and now we're in the... I don't know how many weeks ago it was, but on this show, we covered the fact that Google and, that Google and other uh, uh, social network providers and, and other uh, uh, social network providers and uh, search engine providers uh, search engine providers are being over... It's interesting. I don't think the Nexus 6P has that big an advantage in the spoken voice. To me, it was quite clear with the music playing, it was louder, they both sounded great. And then when the uh, the voice comes on, actually, I'm not sure you could pull them, to decide between them. Both both very, very good, obviously. Um, just interesting, that, that difference from one sort of format to the other, really. Meanwhile, as I'm waffling on, I'm uh, moving on to the browser test. I need to, for some reason, I want to make sure that I get the, exactly the same website. I don't want to go to a mobile and one going to a, the full site and it's been a bit funny with me but we've now we've got it so tap them both at the same time and it looks like the 6p is sneaking through they are both connected to the same wi-fi or they should be and uh, both very smooth both screens look great as well interesting you can see more on the 6p actually there look more of the articles. So we'll move on to the second website, the NFL.com. Again, tap at the same time. 6P, I will say quite clearly, loading up quicker. But the Nexus 6, not far behind, not a drastic difference. Um, keep an eye on uh, the bar along the top. So the one's finished and the 6 is still just going. Again, nice and smooth. So let's go to the third site. I've switched from Engadget to The Verge, actually, for the third site, because Engadget would route one device to the UK site and one device to the US site, which is a little bit odd. So it's going for The Verge. And, yep, yeah, the 6P takes the clean sweep, all three of them, to the 6P. But, interestingly, there's a. am not quite sure what's going on here. The 6P, all of a sudden... It seems to be sort of reloading bits in as I scroll up and down. I'm not sure. You know, it didn't do that on the other two. A little weird. So there we go. I don't know if that's helped or not. Is is one drastically different to the other? I should point out, actually, the 6P's got an Nova Launcher. That won't affect any of the benchmarks or any of the tests. But some people get really upset when it's got a custom launcher. That's just a, just another app that happens to be on the device at the time. So there you go. Is the 6P... Um, necessarily uh, a valid update to go to the 6p uh, i don't know i mean the 6p definitely is is more powerful um maybe more of it's about the design of the devices so i think the 6p is a much nicer design maybe it's about the camera and i, I will do a video test if you haven't seen it already go and look for that so i don't know i've given you some information do with it what you wish um, i'll leave that with you leave your comments down below my name's andy i'll catch you all again soon